Located throughout the state, the Department of Corrections is the largest state agency in Florida and the third largest correction system in the nation. With more than 20,000 staff members devoted to public safety, corrections officers protect our communities and families while ensuring the safety of inmates within our institutions. The path to becoming an officer starts with our training academy. Recruits receive a full-time salary as they attend the 12-week course that provides the necessary skills for success as a correctional officer. Recruits learn defensive tactics, first aid, CPR and firearms training, among other required courses. Things in life that you thought that you would never learn, you get a chance to take in and learn and go with for the rest of your life. I'm confident in what we're learning and I'm confident moving forward. We have great instructors and we have great wardens and people, you know, in higher office that, you know, take care of us and really look out for us. Joining the Florida Department of Corrections is a career of service, but it's also a career of advancement. Those willing to take on the challenge have opportunities to move up in rank, promoting from correctional officer to sergeant, lieutenant, captain, major, colonel, and even warden. Well, the skills you need to promote within the agency are drive, determination, uh, willingness to work hard. The, the Florida Department of Corrections has done more for me than uh, I ever could have imagined. It's provided me with many opportunities for personal growth and uh, professional development. I was told early on that if I was willing to move around the state that there would be a lot of opportunities for advancement. Our correctional officers are the backbone of our department and are responsible for the supervision, care, and custody of inmates. A career in corrections comes with the opportunity to advance through a number of different duties and post assignments that allow officers to pursue their specific talents and interests. A lot of days you don't know what you're going to do when you show up, uh, different post assignments. You, you virtually could be anywhere on the compound. If I've worked in the control room, they may ask you to ride around the perimeter. It just depends on what the, what the shift captain wants you to do. With the Department of Corrections, you've got so many different special teams. You've got the K-9 teams, which I was a part of when I first started. Uh, you've got the hostage rescue team, they call CERT, I was on it. Uh, they got rapid response team, I did that also. You can promote up through the ranks, all the way up, as high as you just desire. Another advantage of joining the department is our commitment to helping officers advance their education. By providing tuition and fee waivers, we can enable you to become a better officer and citizen as you move forward in your career. Well, I'm a single mom. Um, I've worked full time you know, since I had my daughter and going to school wasn't really an option. And so I started working with the state. I realized that they do pay for you know, half a semester of schooling so it makes things a lot easier when you're trying to do it all yourself. Well, I started as a correctional officer, hoping to gain experience. Um, once I finish with my degree, I want to go into probation and parole, and then eventually I'd like to get my master's degree and teach criminal justice. Other benefits to joining our team include the opportunity for overtime pay, sick leave, paid vacation and holidays, comprehensive health insurance that covers the entire family and a premier retirement plan. I feel like the benefits are great for myself and my family. Once you get into that and you start exploring that, they give you so much literature on your retirement, uh, so much literature on your benefits, you start to get excited about that kind of stuff. You start to, to put together a plan of, of what it's going to look like in five years, what it's going to look like in 10 years. All applicants need to be at least 18 years old, a citizen of the United States, have a high school diploma or equivalent, and cannot have any prior felony convictions. We have to have courage and uh, conviction and uh, willing to do the right thing for the right reasons every time. It's more than just a job. It's a career, it's a lifestyle, it's everything that fills a lot of voids that most people look for and when they work, you know, hopping from job to job to job, this is not one of those. This is one that you can get in, you can settle in and, and roll with for years. Being a correctional officer requires a commitment to the tenants of our mission, to provide a continuum of services to meet the needs of those entrusted to our care, to reduce victimization, and to help provide safer communities in Florida with an emphasis on the premium of life. The Florida Department of Corrections a career of service, 
a career for life.